Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'll put a order our meeting for December 23, 2014. And we'll have the fiscal officer call the roll. Jim Matthews? Here. Mike Pollock? Here. Dan Moore? Here. Tori Biden. The uh, minutes were prepared for really? the trustees meeting dated December 9, 2014. Anybody have any changes or corrections for those? I have none. All right. As indicated, then those will stand approved as prepared. Public speaking, anybody here have anything before we cover the agenda items? I know. Okay. Uh, Mike, we'll move on then with the road department. <coughs> Discussed letter from Marlington Local Schools on the purchasing of bulk salt. See and close. I guess we're going to run around to uh, purchase some bulk salt from us. Is it yeah. simply because they don't want to have storage? Well, I guess they do everything in bags. I don't understand. I guess they were going to just run around and they were going to approve all the options, I guess. There's something in the paper. Yeah, I didn't get to read that. It's a bold yeah. one. It's a bold one. Good for them. Yeah. So, I don't know either. <laughs> How much salt did they uh, in your, I mean, in your salt? I, I don't know. I think that's kind of what they want to set up, a, like a meeting to see. I'm just not, I'm not sure how that would work. I know it sounds like a great idea to simply buy it and sell it, but really it's not our function to be a vendor for supplies. It could create an issue. Uh, we're buying under the state purchasing point, right? Okay. The counties with yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have to look at that. I just think it's an interesting issue. And we can have Ken look at it as well. I mean, do we charge them at cost? Do we, you know, what do we do? Of course, they're going to want it at cost, right? Mm -hmm. You're not loaded, you don't have manpower. I'm just not sure under those purchasing agreements that you can essentially become like a wholesale vendor for yourself. You need, you're out on the roads with you guys. Well, they did kind of mention here, too, that they, that they maybe train one of their employees if they need to do that. Yeah. They may not need that much, but we can we can look at it. I just don't think we can answer it quickly before our next meeting. All right. Good deal. <coughs> Request approval for a purchase order to Campbell Oil in the amount of two thousand two hundred ten dollars for fuel. So moved. And second? Yes. Yes. And that's all I have. Okay. Um, do you want to mention about you met with the county engineer about on snow? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, uh, I talked to the county engineer on the issue there on the uh, snow. Yeah. He was suggesting a uh, like preformed head wall. Or possibly a catch basin and pipe it in would be his best solution on solving that problem. It's a like maybe we, he could get some costs together so we can look at it. I'm not sure they would share it if they went to the two rooms. Maybe that's an assumption. We could have the approach on it. Yeah, I think that'd be reasonable to at least approach the owner. Yeah. And otherwise, just get the cost and see if it's feasible and practical. All right. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. One other thing, we talked a little bit. Well, one time we talked about that tree on Freshland. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think, is anything happening with that? No, yeah. I yeah. just, I mean, I was just curious. I know yeah. Tom Pike was. Uh, I can mention it to him again. See if. Uh, Okay. Well, I just thought you said nothing's ever happened with it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll mention it to you. Talk to the property owner or the tenant? Or yeah, the tenant. tenant. I can 
Because, you know, we are permitted to assist or cooperate with that removal from the right of way. It would have to be, again, some cooperative plan. We're certainly not going to pick up the cost to take down that large tree. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you have anything else? I have nothing on my I don't mind on that. You're going to stick around, though, right? Yep. Thanks. Thank you. And Dan, the next agenda item is on the fire department. Yeah. All right, Chief. Chief, there you go. And then start any time you want. Okay, request approved for a purchase order to Kansas City Schools in the amount of $450 to send three EMTs to refresh your class. So moved. Second. Yes. Request approval of the purchase order to Kansas City Schools again for $750 to send two to EMR class. So moved. And second. Yes. Uh, request approval payment to Stark County Fire Chiefs Association for $35 for 2015 annual membership dues. So moved. Second. Yes. And request approval for purchase order of U.S. safety gear amount $950. This is to replace another multi gas detector, which is six years plus old, and the cost to repair it's not worth it. Not worth it. So moved. Second. Yes. Discuss propane tank at fire department. Good question. It is, since we switched to Salem propane, so we kind of started asking it, not been proceeding to go or anything on this one, it's at 40%. Mm -hmm. Chief checked it last meeting. It is at 40%, but it's owned by Amerigas. So, the thing was, Mike was asking, and uh, the gentleman at Salem had indicated with the amount we're buying for the road, he'd be able to put in a tank for free. But it'd be the matter of, since it still has the 40% in it, and he's calling to get Amerigas to take it out, we kind of thought, I thought it was still just let it sit for a while. So we get really okay. enough. Which one of you can guess when the 40%? Yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know. That rate? Yeah, um, <laughs> the, only thing it, the only thing it runs is the generator. The only thing it runs is the generator. It runs once a week for 15 minutes. Do you know oh, the yeah. 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 No, except that we sat with the fire chief from uh, <coughs> Perry at the... Uh, He's already on top of all that. that. He just said that, that, that it has an activity. We do all the ones they do. We said that we were going to have the uh, similar Jackson on Winter's Call, and there's a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. He said that was in the chief's okay. made up magazine, but he said it would be really good. So we'll okay. just start. Fire Chiefs Monthly is in there. <laughs> 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 oh, <okay. laughs> Thanks, Chief. Anybody have anything else? No. no. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Chief. Chief. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Have a Merry Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. Chief and Jamie, on behalf, they're already way ahead of most of the other places and have all that stuff done. Right, without a lot of it. Fanfare. You just said about that work fish call. Right. <coughs> so, under the uh, first item on the agenda under zoning is just to review any zoning? Uh, nothing outstanding. I've sent a couple of letters out, one on the grass, and uh, I haven't heard anything back from that mortgage company at all yet. Out there on goal, so who knows when they'll get somebody out, but they probably will hand it over to something. In uh, the 9th of uh, January, Regional planning is having a meeting, and we're going to go over all the brownfields. And I have like five, seven properties here, and I didn't get anything back from any of the rest of you. So okay. I think we've got, not that we're probably going to get any phase one, but you know, if there's something we can do during the meeting, you know, I'll find out during the meeting. So. All right, very good. Okay. Anything you can do that? Not right now, Joe. Uh, and probably about mid-January, I'm going to start looking at things that we'll want to try to clean up early in the spring so we have a running list going and we're going to see what we need to do. And we have no kind of cases, right? That's good. <laughs> well, we, um, 
No, it's not handing it. Just moving along. And then we'll have that meeting in January and we'll see where that goes. Okay? Good enough. Well, the next item is to take care of this petition. Yeah. You know, I, in reference to that, I'm going to have to plead the affirmative defense of flus in my office. Can't get it done. It will be done for January's first meeting. I'm sorry. I told you the last meeting would be done for this one. But I didn't expect people to be ill. Yeah. I don't know. We really plan to have these things fake. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I doubt that the engineer's office was going to get on it right uh, between Christmas and New Year's anyway. So. No, we'll just plan on it first uh, meeting in January. We will have it. All right, uh, Dan or Mike, anything for Linda? I have none. No, it's nothing. Thanks. Thank you, thank you Linda. Mm -hmm. And Ken, anything else? To no, I don't have anything else to offer. All right, thank you. A few general township items that we'll run through. First is I'll move that we approve a purchase order of the Ohio Township Association, the amount of $100 for the 2015 Winter Conference registration for. Dan Moore and Mike Pollock. Second. Yes. You have the temporary appropriations prepared. I see that we need to hear at the end of the year. Anything in particular you want to review with us? Or no, really, they're, they're basically the same. I probably increased uh, just by a little bit to make sure. And uh, just a few of them that were uh, basically it's the same. All of them are way under what are budget will be for the year, so there will be no problem with the county approving it, and then I should be able to have the budget and everything to do some discussing on that to get some other things settled in by February, and in February we'll have the funds. Okay, uh, Dan or Mike, any questions for <coughs> temporary appropriations? Uh, no, I have All right, I'll move that we approve the 2015 temporary appropriation as prepared and submitted by the fiscal officer. Second. Yes. <coughs> Have a, an extension on the sheriff's contract for us, somebody? Yes, sir. There's two copies, one for us to keep, one for the sheriff. And then it's just simply the memorandum agreement to continue as we are until from January 1st to January 31st. So to continue the same current payment. Which is the 23. 23. Yeah, currently we're paying $23,221.24 a month. So that would continue that for at least the month of January. And so we can have the time to negotiate. Yeah, that's fine. There's no, no adjustment, and we are in the process of uh, working out arrangements for a new contract. If you want to read this, you certainly can. But uh, it does appear in order, and I would move that we approve the memorandum of understanding as submitted for the Stark County Sheriff's Office to extend our leasing contract through January 31, 2015. Second. Yes. We'll just have you sign both copies here. <coughs> While they're doing that on the next little FYI item, do we need to receive that at all, the grant funds? Well, we are, it's that's already been received. The general, that's not a... Well, actually, I actually went ahead and put it back into the road signs. Okay. Right. Back into the road because signs of the bank because it was a reimbursement type like grant. You have to send the invoices and everything. Last year, we did it for um, <clears throat> the new safety vests that we have purchased for fire and some for road. We went back into fire last year. This year we decided to go back into road to help cover some of our road and green sign purchases. Well, that's good. And then we did also, the second FYI there, Thank we you. did receive from the state auditor that they awarded the state audit that was a uh, package that was for our township, Par Paris Township, and then the CD. Creek uh, right. Fire, and that was awarded to Perry and Associates, which I think was kind of our second choice. For them. I think they ended up being, and it really had a chance to look today at the money, but I think it was you know, a little bit lower than for other ones. And we haven't had the final either, but we'll get back. I'm waiting on Perry and Associates itself to send their signed copies, and I will sign it and send it.
send it back to the state and then get everything rolling for in February sometime. All right. Very good. That's for the next three terms. It's for the next three, three terms. terms. So it'll be yeah, three audit cycles. The only other item on here that's an FYI is that it's a reminder that the offices will be closed uh, tomorrow, December 24, and December 25 and 26 as well. Uh, be closed at noon tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, uh, Mike or Dan, anything? I have nothing. I have nothing. Okay, we received the cash and revenue financial report for the year today by the fiscal officer. There's no questions on that. I'll move we approve it as submitted. Second. Yes. Bills tonight are fifty-two thousand four hundred ninety-one dollars and twenty-four cents. Will be authorized payment of the bills. Second. Yes. Communication items we usually receive. Will we file any communication received since the last meeting? Second. Yes. And uh, we'll adjourn briefly here in a moment. But pursuant to one twenty-one twenty-two G. I move that we convene in an executive session with personnel, discuss various personnel and uh, <coughs> compensation matters. Second. Yes. Are there any changes in closing hours or open hours for the new year? That's all about. You're going to be open the day after New Year? Okay. I'll sign out. Yeah. So just New Year's Day will be closed. Right? No, I don't. <laughs> well, sometimes if it's like on Friday, sometimes yeah, it's closed. Yeah. It's up to you guys. I mean, yeah, so. Well, it is up to you. Do you want to open or not? I think oh, most businesses are open on the second word. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I don't have any plans or anything. So. But since the issue's been raised, what do people think about it? Do you want to go out how much I don't see us being busy. Uh, it, has been, in on it has been completely dead this week, this month, I should say. I'm not getting many calls at all. I don't think it's a good problem if we close, personally. Dan, you have any issue with that? No, I don't either. I think it's fine. Close down five. Yeah, okay. It's time of year. I can't see. Well, it's a good thing when they raised it. Yeah. Because I had not thought about it, so. Of course, I'll be New Year's Eve till three. That's no issue, so. All right, so just to make it clear, it's noon tomorrow. So it is the 25th, 26th, and then we'll be closed on January 2nd. Okay. First and second. Yeah, first and second. <laughs> I should start on how many days we're going to be open next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little easy. Kind of like when you have All right, we're going to take a break before the executive session. Uh, as usual, though, of course, I want to open the floor if anybody has any questions or comments. To offer. It doesn't appear anybody does. I uh, appreciate those of you who attend our meetings and I will look what you have from time to time. And we, it's hard to believe we're at the end of the year here, but I certainly want to uh, echo what Mike was conveying earlier and wish everybody a happy Christmas and a happy new year. And we'll kind of see you here in the fifth. Okay. Oh. We, uh, we do appreciate your attendance, so thank you. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Uh, Jill, anything? Yeah. Anna Jamie, let's just open it all right up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I asked my question. Very good. We'll stand at recess for five minutes. Do you guys need this stuff on for anything? Uh, no.